Welcome to this instructional video on how to measure head sails. First, for any sail, you need the following conditions and space to perform this measurement. The sail must be completely dry on a flat surface. It should have just enough tension to remove any wrinkles across the lines of measurements being taken. The space should be at normal room temperature and humidity, and battens should be removed. And when measuring, do not include any permanent attached devices such as clips, cars, or loops along an edge of the sail, such as the luff, or extensions, attachments, or any luff tape at the corners. The constituent edges of any sail include the luff, the leech, and the foot. The corners include the clue, the tack, the head point, and aft head point. For the head sail, its size is defined by the length of the luff, the widths of the sail measured at the head, 7 eighths, 3 quarters, 1 half, and 1 quarter leech points, and the shortest distance from the clue to the luff. Determining the location of these is done by folding the sail along the leech, then marking each fold as a measuring point with a permanent marker. The half leech point shall be equidistant from the head point to the clue. Make a mark on both sides of the leech at this half width leech point. Then bring the head point to this fold and rotate the sail so the leech is on top. This is where the top width leech point is then marked and the quarter width leech point is marked on the bottom leech. Then one more fold of the head point to the top width leech point determines where to mark the upper width leech point. The next step is to measure the shortest distance from each measurement point to the luff, including the clue point. The most common and accurate tool for this is a steel or steel cord reel tape. To find the shortest distance for each measurement, the tape should be swung through an arc, keeping the zero at the measurement points and searching for the lowest value that can be found on the forward edge of the luff. When the corners are squared off or rounded, the actual measurement point is the intersection of the extended edges. This, okay. When measuring any long length on a sail, like the luff length, flatten the sail and fold or flake the sail lengthwise parallel to the dimension to be measured. A head sail may be set on the force day or set flying meaning no sail edge is attached to the forestay. A head sail set flying, also sometimes called a code zero, will have a larger roach than normal head sails. Although the half width and foot length measurements are not needed for these types of sails, they are needed to determine if a sail is a head sail or an asymmetric spinnaker. If a sail has a half width of less than 75% of the foot length, it is a head sail. If the half width is greater to or equal than 75% of the foot length, the sail is an asymmetric spinnaker. Foot length is measured as the shortest distance between the tack and the clue points. In general, measurements should be rounded up to the next largest centimeter. For example, a measurement of 3.211 meters should be recorded as 3.22, just as would a measurement of 3.219. To measure the half width of the sail, first determine the midpoints on the luff and the leech of the sail found by folding the head down to the foot along the luff and then the leech. The half width is measured as being the shortest distance between these midpoints. Remember to flake the sail so measurements are taken with the sail flat against the floor. Once the half width and foot length are recorded, the classification of the sail can be determined. The data should be recorded on a data sheet or a log and also entered on the measurement stamp that should be placed at the head of the sail.